Hey guys, it's SpyCat here again. I'm at my house. I'm going to talk about some DVDs in my DVD collection. I'm here with uh, Sweeties, Snooky, and Minis. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about my Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau collection. So let's go to the collection and see what I got. So the first one I'll talk about is my Jack Lemmon set. I try to get all the Jack Lemmon movies. He's one of my favorite actors of all time along with Matthau and Burt Lancaster and a bunch of other people. But this is a really good set. Um, it has uh, five movies in it, so it's a pretty good set. Not bad. And now we're going to the Jack Lemon kind of paper cases, I guess. That's a, uh, that wasn't that good of a movie, actually. The Prisoner of Second Avenue. This was a really good movie. It's kind of a, uh, I think it's in New York. I think, actually, uh, Sylvester Stallone has his first role in this. He, Jack Lemon ends up taking him, going for a walk in the park, and they bump into each other and he thinks that Stallone robbed him and kind of almost beats him up. So that's kind of fun. This is uh, The Great Race. I never watched this one. This one is, uh, I don't know, kind of too boring for me. I just got it because I want to get every single Jack Lemmon movie there is. This is one of my all-time favorite. This one's actually out of print too. It's probably worth probably like 50 bucks used. It's um, Days of Wines and Roses. Jack Lemmon plays a uh, alcoholic in this movie. Really good role. Great movie. And of course we have my uh, Grumpy Old Men and Grumpy Old Men collection. And we have Dennis the Menace, Walter Matthau. I don't know. I think these are kind of mixed up actually with Matthau and uh, Lemon. Sunshine Boys, I never watched this one. I just got it because it's a Walter Matthau movie. I think it's out of print too. It's probably worth about 20 bucks. And I have two movies that aren't open. I didn't want to open them because they're out of print. Fire Down Below, one of Jack Lemmon's first movies. Haven't watched it. And then we have The War Between Men and Women. This actually just got released on DVD. It was out of print for a while. I never watched it, but it's a lemon one. I gotta watch this one. Oh yeah, I didn't open it. That's why I didn't watch it. This is actually Jack Lemmon's first movie uh, called Cowboy. I never really watched it, but it's out of print too. Worth some money. And then you have, of course, you have Dad. That's actually an, another out of print movie. It's worth some money. Uh, pretty good one. Ethan Ethan Hawke, Ted Danson, Jack Lemmon. You never see Jack Lemmon with a bald head. This is probably the first movie that he has played with his bald head, which is probably his real hair. <laughs> then we have uh, April Fool's. Never watched this one. I don't know if this one's out of print. Got to watch that one, see, see how that one is. Out of Towners. This one is for sure out of print, probably worth about 20 to 30 bucks. Um, good movie. You know, it's an it's uh, I think uh, Steve Martin did a knockoff of this movie with Goldie Hawn. I think, pretty good. Then we have another Lemon, How to Murder Your Wife. I never watched this one, but this is an out of print one. I think it's about fifty bucks too. All the old movies kind of go out of print. Kind of cool. Irma La Deuce, great movie. Jack Lemon falls in love with a uh, prostitute. Really good movie. Another out of print one. Worth probably about 20, 30 bucks. I'm not quite sure, but Apartment. I think this is out of print too. I never watched this one, even though it won Oscars, five Oscars, I think it says. And now we have a HBO one. HBO kind of goes out of print. Mo a good majority of those movies go out of print. This is a uh, movie that's worth over 60 to 100 bucks because it's out of print. Great movie. I mean, these are the movies that you just... It's a good one. Lemon made a lot of movies. As you could see, it's going to go on for a while. I'll, I'll try to get through it fast. I didn't realize I had 
that many lemon and mathow I try to collect every single one some like it hot good movie uh, lemon plays a uh, girl not a gay movie they just I think they end up having to escape escape some uh, thugs that they pissed off and so they he goes on the run with uh, this group of singers and both of them uh, Jack Lemon and Tony Curtis play girls blending into the band with a uh, Marilyn Monroe. Great movie. I love this movie. This is a really good movie. Out of print, too. Mr. Roberts, I never watched. Um, I couldn't tell you that much about that one. Same with the wacky ship in the army. It's his first roles, so these are kind of boring. His first roles weren't that good, except the good comedy ones. Save the Tiger, Jack Lemmon's uh, first dramatic role. Uh, won some awards, I think. Best Actor, Jack Lemmon in 73. Good movie. He This one isn't funny at all. He's actually a, kind of a manic depressive. Pretty good movie, though. Avanti, one of my favorite Jack Lemmon movies, too. He goes to um, Italy and falls for this one girl. He has, a, he has the same attitude where he's just an asshole, pretty much. He's kind of a smart ass to the woman. Kind of funny. He, the moment they meet, he uh, ends up calling her like fat and stuff. So it's really, it's really cool. Then we have Tuesdays for Maury. My girlfriend actually has the book of this, and she was surprised that this was a movie. Another out of print movie though. Jack Lemmon's last, uh, one of his last movies that he made. I'm gonna have to watch that one. And this is a kind of one that's out of print. It's kind of unheard of. A lot of people don't know about this, but it's uh, Getting Away with Murder. I haven't watched it. It's got Dan Aykroyd in it, a couple other people. But another one uh, from HBO, so it's another out-of-print DVD. And Missing with Sissy Spacek and Jack Lemmon. I haven't watched this one. I can't really know what it's about. I think it's... whatever. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. I never watched this one. I think it's kind of like a thug movie. I think it's it's pretty good. Kind of real dramatic role that Jack Lemmon has. And plus, uh, I think uh, Alec Baldwin's in it too. Then we have this one, uh, Long Way Home. This is one of the last ones I needed to complete my Jack Lemmon collection. I think there's only a few more DVDs I need. And the other ones that aren't on DVD I have on tape. Pretty good movie. One of his last movie roles. And the Grass Harp. Uh, this has uh, Edward Furlong, I think, is in this too. Yeah, he is. I never watched this one. It looks kind of old school, but it's out of print too, so it's kind of worth money, hard to find. Fortune Cookie. I think everyone's seen that one. That's where uh, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau kind of con this, this system. They act like he trips from a football player so he could kind of make money on it. Good movie, though. Great movie. I recommend it. The later team-ups with uh, Lemon and Walter Matthau were some of my favorite movies, Crumpy Old Men. This one was great. This is out to sea. They end up going to a um, on a boat that they can't afford, so they pretend that they're workers that know how to dance, and they don't know how to dance, so it's a really good movie. And I think this is one of the team-ups' last movies together was The Odd Couple 2. Really good movie. Great movie. I watched this probably about ten times. And Odd Couple One, we all know that one. And now we're on to Walter Matthau by himself. Uh, a New Leaf. This is, I think, out of print. That's why I didn't open it. I think this got just released too. Yeah, look at that. I paid 25 bucks for it. Jeez. I'm definitely not opening that if I paid that much money for it. Little Miss Marker. Uh, he's, you know... Being Walter Matthau, he's always got a gambling problem, always got a drinking problem, and I guess, I don't know what this movie is, I'm pretty sure it's like using that kid to make him money, but uh, these two movies are great right here, uh, Charlie Varick, uh, The Taking of Pelegram 1, 2, and 3, uh, this is the one that uh, Denzel Washington kind of copied, but uh, great movies, both these I think are out of print too. And this one is so good. It's uh, A lot of people don't know about this one. Let me put this back. This one, uh, Walter Matthau robs a bank. I mean, nobody knows about this movie. Not many people know about this movie. 
great. I mean, look at that. If you picked this up in the store, you would grab it if you love bank robbing movies. The Laughing Policeman is next. Walter Matthau. This movie's in San Francisco. That's the only reason I got it. I think it's out of print, too. I'm sure it's out of print. But uh, I never watched it, so I couldn't tell you about that one. Another one. This is the last Matthau movie I got, only for a couple bucks. And... Yeah, this is a Echo Bridge. I think they don't make movies anymore, but it's a pretty good movie. Got to watch it, though. Hanging Up. This movie's out of print. This, uh, Walter Matthau is just, I think, the dad or the grandfather in this movie for these three annoying chicks. Minus Diane Keaton. I actually like Diane Keaton, but the other ones, uh, I don't care. And... California Suit. This movie is out of print. This movie has so many good actors in it. It's got uh, Richard Pryor, Matthau. I think Cosby's in it, too. And FYI, I don't believe that Cosby did all that bullshit that they said he did. What happened was he, uh, you know, he was a Christian guy, and they screw Christian people over in the movie business, so they kind of want to ruin your reputation. Same with Michael Jackson, but that's another story. Plaza suit. This one's out of print. This one, I think, is worth about 60 bucks. Math Owl movie. I never watched it. Neil Simon. Never watched this one either. This is one of his last movie with Stamos. A lot of people don't know about this. I don't think it's out of print, though. This one, never watched it. One of his last ones, too. I think that's why I got it. This one's out of print. Uh, first Monday in October. Never watched this one either. But, uh, gotta watch it. And Koch, another out-of-print Walter Matthau movie, probably worth about 20, 30 bucks. Never watched it either. Bad News Bears, one of my favorite uh, Matthau movies. He's a baseball coach who has a drinking and gambling problem. Really good movie. I recommend it. Haven't seen Failsafe. Uh, I think it's one of his first movies. This one's actually out of print too, so worth some money. Casey Shadow, uh, another, I think he has a gambling problem with this one too, and he's like using this kid too, I, I think, I'm not sure, but uh, this one's out of print too. Haven't seen this one, um, I think it's one of his last ones though, if you get a chance to watch that. A Guide for the Married Man, uh, this is worth some money too, this is out of print, I forgot what who released this one. 20th Century Fox. They only have a few movies that are out of print. Cactus Flower. This one's out of print for sure. Hard to find. Um, Goldie Hawn, Walter Matthau. Never watched it. Kind of looks on the boring side to me. I just got it because I love Matthau and Lemon. This one's out of print. This is The Couch Trip. Um, they're all in a metal ward, I think it looks like. I never watched it, but uh, I got to watch this one. Survivors. This movie is great. I mean, two actors that are dead. It's out of print. It's worth some money. Um, great movie. Robin Williams and Walter Matthau together. I mean, you can't go wrong with this one. And we have House Calls. I never watched this one, but uh, I think it's out of print too. And next time we will go through my Burt Lancaster collection. One of my favorite actors too. And I'm, I think like 60% of his movies are out of print too. Um, just because The Swimmer, this one is worth the most money. This is actually was going for 250. Can you believe that? I never opened it. I'm never going to open it. So, uh, but we'll do the, uh, Burt Lancaster one, uh, another day. Also, we'll get to Clint Eastwood collection. I have pretty much every one of his movies. And then we'll get to John Wayne collection. More good movies. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for uh, hearing the Walter Matthau Jack Lemon collection.